wrong with the atheist and evolutionists? Why are they so belligerent, obnoxious, and blasphemous? Why do they take such delight in tearing down a faith they say they don't believe in in the first place? Why do they so vehemently deny a God that they say doesn't exist? If Christianity were attempting to conquer the world by sword and take someone's head off if they didn't believe, we could understand. But, oh, wait, that is the radical aspect of the Muslim religion. Hmm. Why is it that you do not hear barely a whimper from the evolutionists and atheists about Allah, the Quran, and Islam, or Hinduism, or Buddhism for that matter? There is a reason, a very sad but understandable reason. Please understand, this film is not for the atheist or for the evolutionist. They will despise it, and what is more, they will not understand it. There is a reason for that as well. This film is for the believing community that is perplexed about the outlandish wickedness emanating from the evolutionist and atheist community on the internet. My worldview is distinctly biblical, of course. That is to say that I believe that the source of ultimate truth concerning the mind and heart of God comes from the Bible, interpreted contextually from Genesis to Revelation. Interestingly, the Bible answers our questions about the evolutionist and atheist. First, consider this. What is the only book in the entirety of human history that speaks, thousands of years before it happened, of a specific nation used by God that would come back into existence miraculously as a sign that we were in the last days? Well, it's the Bible, and the nation, of course, is Israel. Additionally, what is the only book in the entirety of human history that predicts many hundreds of years before it happened that predicts a coming one? who would be the Christ, our Savior, and then records the exacting fulfillment of each of these hundreds of years old prophecies. The book, of course, is the Bible, the coming one, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus the Christ. Now, why do I state these obvious facts? Because these are the two proofs that God is on his throne, the Bible is his word, and that there is no other God. There is no other word, and there is no other Messiah. The believing community knows this, but so does Satan. He knows his time is short, so those who belong to him are raging against all that is true and all that is godly, all that is holy, plain and simple. So what are the biblical answers to what is wrong with the evolutionist and atheist? Why can't they see? Why can't they understand? And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. In other words, their depravity has rendered them unable to see. This is why they mock the truths of prayer, the Holy Spirit, the born-again experience, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, for example. Well, you might ask, why do they believe in evolution? For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God, nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. Why, you might ask, do they insist that homosexuality is perfectly normal, for example? Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relationships with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. Well, why do the evolutionists and atheists insist that there is no God? Because they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served created things rather than the Creator who is forever praised. Why do they seem to be so hopelessly foolish and wicked? Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, God gave them over to a depraved mind to do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. Was all of this activity in the last days expected or foretold in the Bible? First of all, you must understand that in the last day, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. Well, why do they scoff at the second coming of Jesus? They will say, where is this coming he promised? Ever since our fathers died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. 
but they deliberately forget that long ago by God's word the heavens existed and the earth was formed out of water and by water and by these waters also the world of that time was deluged and destroyed. By the same word the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire being kept for the day of judgment and the destruction of ungodly men. What should be our attitude toward their attacks and slanders? For God did not give us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. And you, dear children, are from God, and you have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. But should we answer them, quid pro quo, on each of their outlandish charges against God? Do not give to dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to the swine. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. These are the biblical understandings of what you face every day from the evolutionist and the atheist. But above all, dear believers, please understand that if you belong to Jesus, in the end, you win. This is what Jesus said concerning the days that we now live in. And when you see these things begin to take place, stand up, lift up your heads, because your redemption draweth nigh. The evolutionist and the atheists pray for them, for God does not want any to perish. Sadly, many will perish, though, because they have chosen the God of this age, pride and unbelief, and even Satan himself, and they are blind. Perhaps some will come to him before it is too late. Sadly, though, the truth is, most will simply mock, and most will simply mock this video. But now you know the truth.